Here we have a baby that is left sacrum transverse. It has a nuchal anterior arm and also a nuchal posterior arm. We are going to do the front to back maneuver. We insert our flat hands as high up as we can go. We disimpact slightly and we rotate the baby 90 degrees to face the mother's pubic bone or to sacrum posterior. Once we have done a full 90 rotation, we sweep down the anterior arm with our bottom hand, rotate back the full 180 degrees to sacrum anterior. The second arm will usually release after that second rotation and the baby is born. Here we have a baby that is RST, right sacrum transverse, with an anterior nuchal arm. We are going to do the front to back maneuver. We insert our flat hands as far as we can go in. We disimpact slightly, and then we rotate 90 degrees to face the mother's pubic bone, or to sacrum posterior. Once the baby is fully rotated to sacrum posterior, Sweep down the anterior arm with your bottom hand. Then rotate 180 degrees back to sacrum anterior. If the baby's head needs assistance, you can do a simple shoulder press. This baby is LST. It has an anterior nuchal arm. The other arm is right in front of the face. And if you can easily sweep down that posterior arm and release it, you might want to think of doing that. As you sweep, put gentle counter pressure against the baby's buttocks so that you don't accidentally pull the baby down as you sweep the arm. Now that you have the posterior arm released, you can do the front to back maneuver, this time by grasping the shoulders to get more torque. Disimpact slightly, rotate 90 degrees to face sacrum posterior, sweep down that anterior arm, and rotate 180 degrees back, switching hands if necessary, so the baby faces sacrum anterior. This baby is RST. It's stuck with an anterior nuchal arm. The posterior arm looks like it might be easy to release, so we are gonna gently sweep down this arm, putting counter pressure against the baby's bottom as we sweep the arm down so we do not accidentally pull the baby down. Now that we've released the posterior arm, we'll do the front to back maneuver by grasping the shoulder girdles. Disimpact, rotate 90 degrees so the baby faces the mother's pubic bone into direct sacrum posterior. Sweep down the anterior arm and then rotate 180 degrees back so the baby faces sacrum anterior. This baby is LST, left sacrum transverse. It has two nuchal arms. We're going to try the side to side maneuver. With this maneuver, you grasp the shoulder girdles, you disimpact slightly, and then you rotate 180 degrees through sacrum anterior to the other side, and then 90 degrees back to face you, bringing the baby back to sacrum anterior. You don't sweep arms between the two rotations. At this point, the arms will both be in front of the face, ready to be born, either spontaneously or with a simple arm sweep, and if necessary, a shoulder press. This baby is RST, right sacrum transverse, with two nuchal arms. We are going to do the side-to-side -side maneuver. With this maneuver, we grasp the shoulder girdles, disimpact slightly. Our first rotation is 180 degrees from side to side, going through sacrum anterior to the other side, and then 90 degrees back to face us, or back to sacrum anterior. We do two rotations in a row without stopping, no arm sweeps in between. After the two rotations, the arms will be in front of the face, ready to be born, or can be assisted with a gentle arm sweep. Now we're gonna do upright love set. This baby is LST. With the love set, the first thing you do is you grasp the pelvic girdle and then you flex the baby laterally so that you've pulled down the posterior shoulder low down into the sacral space. 
flexing along the direction of the sacral curve. Then you pull straight towards you and rotate 180 degrees to the other side, going through sacrum anterior, to the other side until the first shoulder delivers under the pubic arch. Then you repeat the process. Flex laterally to bring the other shoulder down low into the sacrum. With traction, pulling straight towards you, 180 degrees the other way to bring the other arm under the pubic arch. The third rotation brings the baby 90 degrees back into sacrum anterior so that the head can be born. This is an upright love set when the baby is in RST. First, we grasp the baby's pelvic girdle, and then we flex the baby laterally to pull the posterior shoulder low into the sacral space. We flex in the direction of the sacral curve. Then we pull straight back towards us as we rotate 180 degrees through sacrum anterior and to the other side, releasing the first shoulder under the pubic arch. Then we repeat the same process. Flex laterally to pull the other shoulder low down into the sacral space, following the direction of the sacral curve. Then pulling straight towards us, we rotate 180 degrees back the other way, going through sacrum anterior and to the other side to bring the second arm underneath the pubic arch. Then we finish the rotation by going 90 degrees back to sacrum anterior.